I'm very excited about this. As you'll see, these are amazing turtles and tortoises. Hold on, I can't show you, I can't show you. Look at this. What are these? Look what else we've got. I love new turtle day at the camp, don't you guys? Oh, what's going on everyone? Ken in here and we've got ourselves a fun day of unboxing some new animals for the camp. This is gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get our stuff together. We've got two species that we're gonna be getting today and I'm gonna be showing you what they are. I hope you guys are digging it. My buddy Jerry's out there. He's been helping me out with uh, Slinky's enclosure. He's been gracious enough to allow me a little time to uh, get out here and film and get these little guys ready. So pretty excited about this. We're gonna wheel this over. I just was cleaning up some leaf litter. Oh, let's see, man. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Mike T. Paola. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Oh, they're a little, little heavy. Oh, they're definitely turtles and that's fun. Come on, this is awesome, man. So I went and got them from the cargo department at the airport cargo area I suppose and uh, I'm gonna get them all sorted right here and we're gonna first get the aquatic species situated so what do we have well we're gonna have an aquatic species I just set up a very simple tub that is going to work as a quarantine for these guys I needed the space so we've got a little bit of water we've got some hides I'll be able to go under and I also have this product this is really good stuff this is from aquascape man it's their driftwood check this stuff out you can order from them it's a good way to uh, either dress up your pond or even use as basking platforms for smaller turtles so it's heavy it sinks uh, it's it's not as buoyant as as you think so I was gonna use some of these wood pieces right here, but this stuff's cleaner and uh, actually looks pretty good. So I'm excited to get to it. So let's get to it with these animals right now, huh? So uh, these came from the Turtle Conservancy, uh, which I've been friendly with a few of the members of the Conservancy for many years. They're located in Ojai, uh, California is their main facility, but these came from their facility in New Jersey. So these are Jersey turtles and uh, we're gonna get them situated. Of course, I don't have a good pair of clippers which is a pain in the neck. So I'm going box cutter. And if you've been watching my Instagram, you know I uh, sliced myself open with a box cutter. So I'll try and be more careful. Let's see if this works any better. I don't know. I wish I had my uh, other wire snips. This is gonna be a really frustrating unboxing, I think. Let's find a better implement. I've got all these tools and I don't have, oh wait, there they are. I was looking for those, okay. They're tin snips, but they'll have to do. This should be easier than a pair of sheet metal snips. So let's get to it. All these tools and, uh, oh boy, this is what you get from pillaging a uh, yard sale. They aren't opening. You know what we need? We need a little magic liquid. All right, this is not a paid endorsement, but this is good stuff. You know what it is. It's called WD-40. Let's just uh, shoot a little bit of there, a little bit of there. Boom, boom. Can't be a, can't get a little too, apply liberally. Look at that, magic guys. And uh, it's brand new again. Okay, here we go. Now we got that sorted. Look at that. Like butter, baby. Right through it. No problems. I'm very excited about this. As you'll see, these are amazing turtles and tortoises and it allows us to check out one species that I have not worked with before. Hold on, I can't show you, I can't show you. Holy crap, this is so awesome. Look at this, these guys are right here. Look at how they did that, that is pretty slick. Let's go ahead and place them down. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. How am I gonna get these out, let's see. Oh, my snips aren't working. I'm putting you guys down. You guys have to go down there and then I can manipulate these better. Oh, these are so cool. They're really pretty slider species. Let me show you guys here in one second what we've got. 
All right, that was pretty slick. Okay, so here we are. What are these? These are gorgeous little Colombian sliders. These actually are related to the red eared slider. These are the Colombian slider from South America. They are Trichemes venustra. Um, that's the Latin name. And in uh, the United States, we have Trichemes scripta elegans, which is the red eared slider, Trichemes scripta scripta, which is the slider turtle or yellow bellied slider. There are Rio Grande sliders, there are Cumberland sliders, there are many different subspecies. This is Trichemes venustra. There's also um, uh, sliders that live in uh, Central America uh, that live on Caribbean islands, but these are from good old Colombia. I mean, that is beautiful, isn't it? What a beautiful turtle. And it is a highly aquatic species, as you can imagine. Let's go ahead and put them right here. And we're gonna go ahead and start putting them in. I like to put them in on the land, boink, and they go right in. Oh, so cool. Let's get him up on his little log. There he goes. So these are a little bit too small for me to put in the ponds. I wanna raise them up a little bit before I do that because I don't want them to get eaten by birds or anything. So they're gonna live in here and they're gonna be just fine living in here for a while. These guys are just like our sliders. They're very good baskers. Uh, he's been out of water for a little while, so he's not gonna be able to, to go under for a little bit. Sometimes if they've been out of water, they, uh, they will have a hard time sinking. But uh, these guys will eat all kinds of invertebrates at this size. They'll eat prepared turtle diets. Uh, they are really, really uh, just a cool species. So I'm really excited because it's my first time working with them and they do well down here in Florida. Um, and then guys, look what else we've got. Do you know what these are? These are radiated tortoises. Oh my God. And this girl was told to me, she's a little goofy looking. <laughs> she's got a little bit of pyramiding, but she's a nice turtle. It's a radiated tortoise. Holy smokes, look at these. These are gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Subadult female radiated tortoises. Hi, young one. And they're gonna be living outside here. They were anonymously donated to the Turtle Conservancy and now they are here at Camp Ken and they are gonna live their life here. Very, very exciting. Let's go ahead, lift them off because I think we still have some more. Oh, we've got some more um, sliders to contend with plus more turtles to open oh there we go all right let's get to it this is so cool i love new turtle day at the camp don't you guys i'll put you right up here i hope you guys will be able to see me i think you will be this is going to be so cool let's go ahead point you down and see just what we've got in this tote all right still going So cool. Hey, there they are. Let's go ahead, get them snipped out. Okay, here they are guys. Some more Trichemes. Uh, Venu Venustra. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, oh, they're going everywhere. They're ready to go. Let's get them going. Come here, guys. Oh my sheesh. Go on. If you can do it, get out. Get out, little one. Oh, that is awesome. These are beautiful. Beautiful little turtles. So we're just going to keep them in this tote, uh, rather waterland tub for a little while. They will be fine in here. And my gosh, awesome to see such a pretty species. Uh, taking residence up here at the camp. Uh, just like sliders, guys, just like red ears, they're gonna eat the same thing. There's one is already in the hide. Um, these little hides are great, they're for snakes, but they work out really well. So I'm keeping things very simple right now. I had to get something set up. This thing's on wheels so I can move it in and out uh, during the day. They're gonna get natural sunlight here in just about another hour. It's early in the morning. So they're gonna get some sunlight. They're gonna be uh, well cared for here. And this is a perfectly acceptable way to raise them up 
I might throw some aquatic plants in here, maybe some floating plants they can hide under as well. But uh, this is really, really good stuff. And I can't wait till I can get these guys out in one of the aquascape ecosystems. Um, that's gonna be the best place for them. But when raising them up, oh, there's a little zip tie. When raising them up, it's uh, best to do it in a controlled area. So that's what I'm doing right now. And again, they're gonna be crawling all over these logs. Um, I think it's gonna be great. Pretty excited, but now let me show you what else we have. How about two more beautiful radiated tortoises right here? Oh my gosh, let's get these guys situated. What do you think? What do you guys say? Let's do it. We're gonna pull them out and I'm gonna put them right here in this cart and we're gonna wheel them over to their new home. So that's what's gonna happen right now. So let's do it. We're not gonna be going too far, but look at the beauty. Look at how beautiful they are, guys. Can you believe this? Radiated tortoises, man. I love this species. They do well down here in Florida, and they're an endangered species, so we've gotta do a good job keeping these guys alive. Beautiful young females. You can see, they're all little gals. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. We gotta name these ones. These are gonna be kept separate than the other radiated tortoises. So we're just gonna put them in. Just like this. Look at that, it's almost like a Lego too, a little bit. Okay, let's go for a walk. We're gonna walk and talk about radiated tortoises. All right, as you know, they're from the island of Madagascar. And these are one of the most heavily trafficked tortoises in the world. Uh, they are being pillaged from Madagascar where they are threatened with extinction out there. And that's really a shame because they do belong in their native uh, land, in their natural habitat. They like the, the different forests, the dry forests of Madagascar, grasslands, and they do very well here in Florida and in other places in the United States. In fact, even though these are an endangered animal and they're protected uh, by, the, by the CITES Act, they are actually well represented here in captivity, um, so much so that zoos uh, sometimes will stop, they will not reproduce the eggs. Uh, they will smash the eggs or freeze the eggs to keep them from actually reproducing because there are so many in captivity. Um, it would be amazing if these animals would ever be able to be repatriated into Madagascar, but sometimes that's just not an option. But here's where they're gonna live, where the snow leopards used to live. They've moved on to a new home. Uh, so what I've done is I've allowed this to disinfect. I've sprayed it uh, in preparation of our new arrivals and um, basically I just wanted to make sure there were no pathogens. We got water going right now. We've got a food tray. I'm going to put some of this good stuff right here for them. We're going to share some watermelon because they might be a little thirsty after their little ordeal. So I'll just put out some of this for them and I'll probably put out a little bit of it for our friends over here. Yeah, you guys are looking for something to eat. It's our little, it's the little ones. It's the, oh, come on little guys. What do you get? What is this, guys? It's the leprechauns. That's right. These three tortoises I moved from the back grassy area because we've been working out there and we can't keep the gate closed. So these guys are now living out here. So these three are here while Lumpy is out in another enclosure. Okay, what do you say? Let's get some tortoises in their new enclosure and watch them wander around. We're going to start here with this gal. Maybe we'll call her Nobby. Hey, Nobby. Good old Nobby. That's your name. She's coming in. Boop, boom, there you go, sweetheart. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if she'll go right to the food, let's see. Let's see if she's in the mood for a little watermelon treat on this warm day here in Florida. Oh man, now she's got character. I don't mind if she's a little pyramided out. I mean, that is just a beautiful tortoise nonetheless. And well, over the years, she's gonna get much larger and hopefully we can keep new growth looking really good and healthy. All right, you just do your thing. Let me go ahead, we'll grab the largest one, which is this gal right here. Oh, come here, sweet pea. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. So amazing. I love radiated tortoises, man. These are gorgeous. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, you go, Rhonda. They were all cooped up for the last 24 hours. Now they get to wander around. Say hello to your buddy. There's Nobby. It's still the same crew, man. So there we go, beautiful. And you gotta head over to Turtle Conservancy and uh, give them some support because they work with different people like myself to make sure that there are homes for some of these animals. And they do amazing work out in the field as well, saving species in C2 or in uh, their environment out in the wild. So a uh, very, very good organization. Again, 
a beautiful place. One of the nicest turtle facilities I've ever encountered in my life is their Ojai, California facility. And we have some videos from there that you can kind of look back, uh, look back on and see. So, whoo, there they go. All four are now here in their new habitat. So it's gonna be really cool. We, of course, have the shed. So when it gets cold or too hot, they can wander in there. But uh, this time of year is kind of like the Goldilocks time. It is just perfect for these turtles and tortoises. Not too hot, not too cold. Springtime is an awesome time to be in South Florida. So um, really, really great animals. Uh, of course, they're gonna be kept just like the ones out front. I keep them just as uh, wild as possible. Uh, I feed them a different mixture of grasses and they're going to be eating different leaves such as mulberry and banana leaves and they're going to get watermelon uh, and some cantaloupe just to help hydrate them. Um, I don't really overdo it with the fruit but they do get some of that and of course they're getting our fluker tortoise diet and some of the other chows that I mix in with that. So these guys are going to have a really great life and i'm going to keep them in here for a while i'm going to be able to check out their you know just want to check them out i want to get to know them this one she's already wandering around look at her go i want to get to know them and see what their little personalities are how well they move an overall assessment of their health if there's anything i'm going to need to do um, so that's what i'm up to right now we've got plenty of leaves that i have here from this black bamboo this timor bamboo and this stuff is great for them to nestle into and feel secure and hide plus they'll get the odd leaf or weed that uh springs out here they don't seem to be too interested at all in the watermelon i think they've had quite the ordeal traveling the last 24 hours but you can see we got fresh water it's on a timer and it overflows down there so they have clean water all day long because this comes on a timer and ir through the irrigation tubes and just kind of sprays out and keeps everything nice and uh, clean very important to have fresh clean water for your tortoises it's one of the most important things you can do to keep them healthy so you could see her she's kind of just checking things out whilst these other two ah they might just want to relax for a while i don't know but they are certainly doing that so i want to just grab this i thought i heard the door slamming yep the door wasn't properly shut but uh here's this other gal she's a little bit more of an intrepid explorer and she's kind of doing her thing right now cool awesome stuff man can you guys believe it four beautiful radiated tortoises coming to live at the camp uh they're much smaller than the ones out front and i want to just give these a I don't want to mess with that other group because it's perfectly balanced. Everyone's happy. So these gals are going to live back here on their own. And one day, if I'm able to get another male or two, um, I will then incorporate them into this group and have two different groups of radiated tortoise. But just an amazing, amazing species right there. Um, love them. This is awesome. So there you go, everybody. Another fun video, adding some really cool animals to the camp. These guys, you'll get to know them over the years as we continue to watch them grow and get bigger. And hopefully one day they can reproduce. Uh, but if not, no worries. As I said, they are well represented in captivity. So there's Navi. We have to come up with some names for the other three. And I'm sure those names will present themselves oh, just through good old luck. Things just seem to fall out of thin air and then you got a name for them animals. So we learned about two species of tortoises today, uh, rather turtle and tortoise, uh, the Trichemys venustra, uh, which is a, the Colombian slider, and of course, the radiated tortoise. Oh, she's finally starting to move. Awesome stuff, man. All right, well, everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, thanks for checking out the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys want, leave a comment. Let me know what you think these names should be. Uh, they're going to be around for a while. So thanks so much, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. And don't worry, Slinky's enclosure is moving along nicely. So long.